Hey guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is your favorite tech savvy, you came with for the NS. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can easily create a landing page that will enable you to collect emails of your audience, okay? And then in return, you're giving them something for free, okay? So it's more of like a vice versa stuff. You're giving them something for free and then they are dropping their emails for you so that way you get to reach out to them when you have something to sell to them okay so this video is going to be brief short and straight to point so if you're new on this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to hit the notification button so that youtube will notify you whenever i drop a video on this channel all right so let's get started so first of all i want to believe you already know how to access your wordpress dashboard okay so when you go to your wordpress dashboard you're going to install um elemental was because we're going to be working with elemental so install elemental and also you're going to be using astra team install it and set it up you have access to some of these um, features you're seeing at the right at the right hand side you're seeing now okay so if you don't if you're not using astra team and then install element so when you get here you're going to go to pages and you're going to add a new page all right so i'm just going to add a new page quickly i'm going to name this uh, so when i do that i'm going to come here and i'm going to select this template you're seeing here so this template is going to be elemental full width so scroll down and i'm going to say um, i want to disable the title and also i can also decide to disable the um footer but let me just leave that then i'm going to add here let's say here should be um transparent header so i've enabled my transparent header so the next thing i want to do is to come here and publish So as you can see, my page has finished publishing. So the next thing I want to do is to what? edit it with Elementor. So I'm going to hold my control key and try to edit with Elementor. So Elementor is going to open a new page for us. I'm going to edit with Elementor. Okay. So once you edit with Elementor, it will take you to your Elementor dashboard. That's the work area for Elementor where you are going to do all the editing that you want to do. All right. So guys, as you can see right here, this particular page has finished loading okay so what you're seeing now on my heading this um, flutter wave stuff you're seeing here this is a particular page i actually created because i was trying to replicate um flutter wave with my students okay so don't bother about this all right so what i'm going to do next is to i will come here i'm going to select this button and i'm going to select this full width okay or still let me just close here again I'm going to select this plus and then I'm going to use this double structure okay so once I do that I'm going to click on this edit section so you see this particular middle part I click on it edit section and I'll head over to my advanced then click on advanced option so I'm going to add some padding so from the top I want the top to be let's say 200 okay from the top 200 so i'm going to click this place so that i can edit individually so from the top is going to be 200 and then from the bottom let's say 100 then from the right okay i think it's okay but from the right 200 200 okay so i'm going to update this so this particular landing page i want to show you now i have a book i want people to download so i'm going to um, create this landing page so that whenever they click on the download button it will take them to go and download the ebook or take them to the ebook where they can access the ebook okay so what i'm going to do here is the next thing is this we're going to head over to style and i'm going to change the background color okay so let's assume that i want to use a white background okay so i select my white background here and then this is my background then another thing is this you can see the side when they hover on the white background how do you want it to be so let's say i want it to be a color that is something like this so you can see instead of being white when i hover on it the color is going to change so it all depends on what you want so you can see now so that's how it is so the next thing i want to do is to add my content so right here i'm going to add a add my image here so i'll select image drag it towards this end and then i'll go to my device go to my media library to see if i can get the image of the book i want to sell so this is an example of the book so let's say i'll put it here and i'll click select 
then the next thing i wish to do is to add my title so add my title i'm going to drag here and then i'm going to edit it and say wondering why you don't sell online okay so the next thing i want to do i'll come to start i want to edit this um, particular right up so i come to typography and i'm going to change this um default page to monster art okay so i'm using monster art and i would love to use something like this let's say 45 would do then i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to click on this um, transform and then i will use uppercase or let's try normal okay so this is normal and then i'm going to use line height to adjust how it is so you can see right here so i'm also going to use my weight and say i want to be bold this is semi bold so i want to be bold or let's say extra bold okay then the next thing i want to do is to change the color so let's say i want to use this kind of color or still i could even use red i think red will go well okay so this is it and then the next thing we're going to do is to come back to this particular thing you're seeing here at the top right hand side click here so you can add more um, functions so i'm going to click on test editor okay so maybe particular write up and say this book okay so you can see what i'm doing now so if you really want to view how it is you can just close this label so you see how our book looks like so you see how the whole setting is so if by the time you are done you have to be checking how it is on the phone and also how it is on your desktop view and how it is on the tab so whenever you're working like this open this place back it will always seem as if you're doing nonsense like it's not aligning very well but once you close it you notice that what you're doing is actually making sense all right so when i've done with this i'm just going to add a button okay so there are two ways to go about this now so it's either you add a button it's either you add a button or because we want them to drop their email then you have to create a form okay you have to add a form to it so what i'm quickly going to do is to go back to my dashboard that's my my wordpress admin dashboard and then i will quickly show you how to create a very simple form that you can use to um display here for example let me delete this one and i'm going to search for forms let's say wp forms wp form so i'm going to drag this form here and I'm going to select a form. So you see this form I have created before, which is free download. If I click on it now, you will see that it's going to show here. So they just need to put their email and then click on the download button. It will be available for them to download it. So right here, you can see now, I'm just going to close this work, close here and see. So you can see once the customer puts in their email and they click on the download button, they will be able to receive the book ASAP. So I'll just close here back and then let me quickly open and um, remember whatever it is you're doing always update so that it will reflecting on the main site you're working on okay so let's head over to our admin dashboard we are show you how to create this simple email i just created now okay so guys here is our admin dashboard so what we're going to do is you need to install a particular plugin called wp form so you can see it here i already installed mine so go and install yours and then you're going to come to all forms all right come to all forms so you see all the forms i have created before on this particular account so you see here i have about two forms okay so if i want to add a new form i just scroll up and i see option to add new so right here i'm going to name the form and say uh free okay so we're going to be using this one new free download so when i get here what i'm going to do is to click on create blank form what i'm going to to do here is to come here and i'm going to look for email so see this email option here i'm just going to drag it this way okay so this is the only thing i want my customers to feel but if i want them to also put their name and all of that i can as well still add it. so you see this option for name i will as well drag it to the top here so you see the customer can drop their name their first and last name then their email as well so then the next thing you are going to do when you're done with this you're going to come to settings then you, you come to um, notifications okay so 
should in case someone download this particular book we're working on they should send you an email on your admin dashboard all right then you come to confirmation so this aspect of confirmation when the customer finished putting their email i want you to redirect them to another url so i'll click on redirect to a url and then i paste the link where i want it to redirect them to so if you want the link to redirect them to a particular book in your google drive copy the link to that particular book in your google drive and paste it here okay or you want it to redirect them to your whatsapp paste it here as well okay that is going to be possible immediately they put in their email and then they click on that particular button all right so i come back to notification let's see if there's any other thing that we need to set come to general okay so in this particular general you see the name of the form is new free download and then you see submit so that submit button you're seeing there if you don't want to be showing submit just come here and say download free book okay then once the person clicks on the button i want to be showing them downloading okay so the next thing you want to do is to what is to save your form that you just created if you've done this correctly all you need to do is to come back to your elementor and refresh so that this particular form you just created now is going to reflect on your elementor page that you're working on all right okay guys so i just um quickly refreshed my elemental so right here i'm going to select the form i want to work on so if i uh, my forms have increased to three instead of two so i'm going to select new free download okay so you see that the form is going to um display here you can see now you can see how it is so what i'm going to do is to let me close this and see if it's going to expand a little bit okay so you see now you see first name you see last name and all of that so what I'm going to do next is, so here is what I noticed. You see this particular form is too short. Okay, so I'm going to head back to my WP forms and I'll come here, click on each of these sections. Then instead of medium, I'm going to make it to be large. That's the width has increased. Okay, I click on this email tool and then I come to advance and I'm going to select large. Okay, so instead of it to be short, I want it to be wide enough for me to work with. So if I come back here, you see here, I'm going to save the settings I just did now. So if I come back to my Elemental and refresh again, you will notice that it's going to be better, okay, than the way it was before. So right here, I just quickly um, refresh. So let's see if the form is going to be wide in um, width, if the width is going to be long enough, okay. So you can see now it's better rough than the way it was. So if I close here and view, you can see now see how it looks right now okay so if i click on this download button it's going to refresh so what am i going to do next i'm going to close here then come back to my wordpress dashboard let's go and view this particular settings that we've just done now so head over to your pages you're going to see all pages then that particular page we're working on you're going to scroll down and see if okay you can see it here download book so i'm going to click on it so i can view it and see if what we're doing is actually making sense all right so you can see now this is how it is on the site you can see okay let me update this so that okay so you can see now see how it looks right so this is how it is okay and the next thing i want to do is to come here so remember people are going to visit your site are going to be using their smartphone so you have to check for responsive mode so come here to responsive mode click on it and then you're going to check how it looks on a tablet so you can see that we've been building nonsense all this while so what you're going to do is to click on this edit section come to advanced settings click on this advanced and then we're going to adjust it so from the top we're going to say we want the top to be 150 and then from the right we want it to be 20 from the left we want it to be 20 as well and then from the bottom i want it to be 100 okay so this is how it is on a tab so always make sure you update each of the settings you're doing updates so next thing i want to do is to check on how it looks on the phone so i think it's even looking more better on the phone so you can see how it is here so this is how it is on a phone so you can see that it's even looking more better on a phone okay so now let's see if these settings that we've done are actually good so if i come here fill in my name my name is okay 
last name is Fole, my email is Fole Okimuti. So if I click on this download button, you will see now that it's showing me download. Remember we, we did the settings, so it's showing me downloading. All right. So after it's done, it's going to take us to where this book is on my Google Drive. Okay. So you can see now it's taking us to that um, particular file or the link that we actually pasted on that WP form that we created. So this is how you can create a landing page. So guys, if you got value from this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button so that YouTube will show this video to more persons. Also, click on the notification bell so you'll be at a lot whenever I drop a video on this channel. Bye!